There's a really neat hidden side quest of sorts in the new Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty DLC. You can totally miss it, so I'll show you what it's all about. And I'll do a voiceover on the text parts. Pretty early on, you'll enter this hub area, this market, and if you head on top of where you can find the cars and the tank, there's a shipping container with something inside of it. A sparking robot. Hmm. And when you jack into the computer, you get a message from Ironclad, the robot. A funny little emoji. That's all I can speak in are these funny little faces. It's not doing so hot, so it sends you on a little Easter egg hunt. When you ask what's in the crate, money? The first one you'll find is upstairs at the butcher. Pick up the robot software and you'll get another text. Audio logs. Test, test, test. <clears throat> My name is Erwin Kirsch, age 31. Nice to meet you. Audio transcription. Functional. Of course, right now you don't understand anything I'm saying, little friend. But you will soon enough. I assure you of that. Now, let's get you hooked up to the server. And you're sent off to find more. This next one took me a while to find. You gotta go up past the butcher. You'll see the shop run by the little kid. Turn right around from that, and you'll see MD. Go all the way in here, and you'll find it on some trauma team boxes. Who would have thought? Top of my class, presidential fellowship. <sighs> but when the time came to apply for funding for my work, every door slammed in my face. It bothers me, my son, that I'm bringing you into such a heartless backwards world where people of science must turn to criminals for help. Hansen may have paid for you, but don't you worry. I'm writing the code. You'll grow up to be a good boy. Aw, he even did a little heart. The next one's close. Drop down from the walkway to this weapon shop. It is inside this Militech box. Uncanny. One day, when you're older, you'll understand the weight of that word. It won't be meant as a compliment. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive those who say it, or worse. So what if you're made of metal? These days, even us natural-born people are loaded with so much cyberware, we're hardly organic ourselves. Your neural network will develop with insane motion of data that shapes our brain's chemistry. Flesh is not superior to chrome. You are worth no less than anyone else. Next is in the big weapon shop with all the weapons lined up. It's in the back left side. I knew this day would come and still I am not ready for it. I must release you into the world. You'll be fulfilling the wishes of sordid people, trapped in a shell that material necessity has condemned you to. But is that not the fate of all people? I don't know your fate. Bargus refuses to say anything. But whatever you end up doing in life, never lose yourself to the world. I'm tormented by the thought that I'm leaving you too soon. There will be moments of confusion and longing for something you cannot yet express. I pray a benevolent hand will set you down the right path. I got you, little dude. Hang in there. The final one's well hidden. On the far end, past the cars in the tank, past Ironclad, there's a little shop here with a yellow skull. It's kind of like on the shop. You want to go up, go around, and jump down here towards this sign. With this much data, you got to go jack in directly. I don't want to risk it. Going back to Ironclad, you can read the final messages. Right. Let's see what's here. My boy, it's Irwin. Please write me back. I shouldn't be contacting you, and I'm probably putting us both at risk by breaching the contract, but I can't just cut myself off from you. The more I think about it, the more I worry about what intentions my bosses at Bargast have for you. Elated by the prospect of working on the creating of real, self-evolving intellect, I didn't want to consider the obvious outcome. In the end, I sold you into slavery. I no longer have access to your transmitter. So please send me your location. I need to get you out of there. You deserve better. There's a system log of a bunch of denied access and a power supply overload. You scrapped the thing? Scrapped itself. Blew its own power source. Well, fuck. How the hell did that happen? I entered Kirsch's liquidation directive and some hidden algorithm kicked in. The man's no fool. But then we handled this ourselves. Get your stuff. What about the bot? We'll be back for it with our techies. Maybe that pile of junk can be salvaged. Hmm. Now you're presented with three options. Wipe the robot's memory, leave the robot be, 
or reprogram the robot. I'm ashamed to admit I didn't have enough intelligence skill here. You could just press leave the robot B and shuffle some things around, which I had to do. Now, before I finish this mission, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe. Let's do it. We'll start with showing you what happens when you wipe the robot's memory. Ironclad will continue to sit there, sparking with nothing but confusion for the rest of his life. An empty husk. Pretty sad. But if you reprogram the robot, set ironclad free and gave it a way to express itself through music. It's a wholesome tale, assuming you pick this option. Cold world, cyberpunk, but sometimes there are glimpses of light. <laughs>